and the program was getting closer so that uh, you have to download it actually, there are only ports. So we, yeah, so we, uh, good point, uh, we had, uh, we made a mistake in the version GKB, we thought it was stable, it's a stable version, we had taken the earlier version. In fact, this is one of the problems with um, open source software that um, the versions keep coming and uh, people want to improve it, they improve it but then it takes some time for them to fix all the bugs. If we had gone for the previous one, it would have worked. Um, so, and to answer the previous question, uh, so all the links were there on the registration site. We had given the links for eCampaign, JMOL. So, it would have been possible for people to download and install. Even if we say, please install and come, people will come without installing. So, we are aware of this, what we have been thinking about it. What uh, we have decided is, when we organize these workshops, we should have more computers with us. Uh, one suggestion is that why don't we ask people to come with empty hand. We give the computer, we give the CD, you take it back. But the problem is, now all the people who brought their computer and the software is running, you will go, and go back and use it. So actually we need a combination of both, So, we, uh, but your feedback is very important. Yeah. I am Dr. Jain Khair from College of Engineering, Pune. Uh, what I want to suggest now, one more program, that is if, if you combine this program, some part of this program with LaTeX. Because you have introduced detail about that, but the combination is very nice because that time uh, what will happen is particularly for only those who are doing PAD or some research work. Because they have now, everyone is shifting toward LaTeX, but we are not able to write in a proper way. So if we, this program is uh, run, then it will be a good program for us. For all of you, we yeah. can easily conduct a late tech workshop in a similar way. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So we will inform you. So, so very good suggestion. Uh, once you, once we do that, by the way, we do. We have trained more than 20,000 people on late tech in India until now. Probably we are the only organization in the whole world that has taught so many people in such a short time. Okay, but well taken. Later alone will be a separate work workshop. I also want to point out, even though you might have lost some time, remember I told you we want you to get used to the idea of learning from this. How to learn? The moment you know how to learn, you can actually go and learn yourself, and in fact, you can organize for your own students. Even if you had spent just one hour on each software, that is more than enough. Okay, anybody else? Sorry, there was somebody here. Uh, Mr. Rahul Mahajan from T.T. Bhatia College, Bangalore, teaching a junior college. Uh, the program and the content and its objectives were very nice, but only thing in chemistry, as I have just noticed, there are many teachers uh, who are in degree college, engineering college. What we expect, you know, uh, that program for chemistry to be segregated for maybe junior degree or engineering as per their application content. Because right now, what molecules we have covered and what curriculum we are having. Maybe you know, kind of the teacher is oriented, but he is not required to give this much level of information to student. So, if the program content is limited to maybe a junior college teacher, or the series what we have uh, received is for 9th and 10th standard. So, you know, that was resulting in more confusion. When we had just happened to meet colleagues outside for a tea break, some of them from junior college, some of them from engineering background, the chemistry content as per the stage is different. So, henceforth, this is my suggestion if it can work positively, to segregate the college specifically with regards to say junior college, what curriculum they are having, what they are teaching and how best it can be implemented by using this particular workshop would add additional benefit because here it was uh, resulting in little bit of chaos that whether I should use or not or whether that students are having that level of understanding to visualize in 3D at 9th and standard by junior college level. We can easily accommodate this. We can have different sets of assignments. Exactly. That would have solved the problem. Mm -hmm. So I also have Professor Santosh on uh, my right. Do you want to say something? Yeah. See, basically, uh, my take on this is slightly uh, different. Uh, what I feel is that, you know, uh, as a teacher, uh, we look at the students and then based on that, decide whether my bunch of students need to be taught this one or not. Uh, but to answer your question, the area on 9th and 10th standard, if this kind of a thing is shown to them, they need not know details of it. 
But when the first time carbon structure is introduced and they are shown this kind of three dimensional visualization, I think it will make our life like wrong when these students come to us. Not <laughs> 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 this is my honest opinion about this. Because I, I understand your uh, point of view. Uh, but uh, just to share with you, sometimes, uh, you know, with Professor Kalyanpur, we were just talking about the uh, other day, uh, the course is teaching these students who are coming out of. Uh, uh, just out of 12 standard, first year we take school. And we were talking about not uh, teaching chemistry to them just so that they learn higher level thinking in chemistry. The idea was many of these students come here uh, and believe you me that these students who come for chemistry sometimes, not all, but there are some kids there who are kind of you know feeling down that I am doing chemistry. Because everybody in their bag has come to be taken here and uh, they are doing chemistry. So how do we get them excited? So we were actually thinking about what topics in chemistry, for example, can get them excited. It will not be organic synthesis in which we do our research. But in organic chemistry, there are a few points which can be uh, very interesting for the students. And students, after seeing those topics, may say that, uh, hang on a second, I never thought that, you know, uh, chemistry could be touching this aspect of my life, uh, what we see also. So, you know, it is not only about knowing a very detailed version of it. A protein structure shown, say, through this program uh, to a student with very standard. They have a, 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 a amino acids, secondary structures, a, a primary structure of protein and all. But if they see that three dimensional, this is how it looks like. I think it will get them excited. It will not help them understand the details and intricacies of the structure. But uh, that excitement that, okay, I want to go and look it further, uh, I think would, would, would be quite useful. So from that angle, I think that you know, everybody who uses this right from the school level to the you know, MSc, PhD at any level, I think it, this would be useful. Uh, as a teacher, we just pick it up uh, where we teach it. And in fact, it helps if you know a little bit more as a teacher than uh, what, uh, what you really need to deliver to Okay, so we get carried away by our talking, but we want to hear from you. We also want to hear from you uh, what you thought about this method. A method like this, whether you think this is scalable, whether you'll be able to spread it. Of course, we have people, we have Swapni here, his team is there, they will help you. So, I also want to look at that. I, I mean, I would want you to talk about various things, uh, maybe the topics, Maybe the topics covered, problems covered, methodology, hardware, software. Um, uh, only two hour workshop. Because when you do it, you will do only two hour workshop. Because organizing all this, tea, lunch, and so on, it's a lot of delay. Right? For When you do it for your own students, just two hours, there is somebody who will organize, the students will go learn themselves, they will be done. So please do give feedback on all of this. This is from the community. Uh, before coming here, I attend uh, 20 of my PYPAC students uh, to this college, uh, to St. Helena. And uh, when my students came back, they were extremely excited uh, because they said that uh, they could, uh, because I had just finished teaching the of chemistry in PYPAC, and they could see all those confirmations. And in fact, uh, I came here because uh, my students said that I must go and then I must stay it up for them. Uh, so what you are saying, uh, two hours in colleges like ours, uh, getting the computer lab uh, for two hours for uh, you know, PSE science students is very, very difficult. So I think we can do it for uh, first year, second year, third year students in short modules, one hour. Uh, and uh, I think it would be quite efficient. Um, and uh, maybe we require some more motivation from your end so that we will I am Lakshmi from Vase College and like Gopi said, my students have also come here and they were really excited and they came including to me, Madam, two hours was very less, it should have been the whole day. So in fact I was trying with Snehendata to arrange for a second workshop but unfortunately because of the elections and the rest of the, a lot of things were before their exams but I am still trying to see if I could make this, we have a multimedia room. So I suppose whichever college has the provision for making such arrangements, 
we could try to, because Neelita said that they could help us with installing the necessary, I mean, packages, whatever software is required. They could install it in our computers. So we all have a multimedia. Quite a few colleges I know can do have a multimedia room. So if we have a multimedia room, then probably we could get it installed. We could have our students to do it. And in their free time, they could also learn a lot of things. And if required, probably we could like, sir was telling in the morning that it's all a matter of sharing. So the nearby college students could be called to our college and probably we could uh, spread the word around and most students could Ten colleges in different parts of the city who can help nearby colleges and also schools, especially corporation schools. If we can train the teachers of these colleges who may not be so well endowed, that would be a great thing. I mean, our computers are all idling Saturdays, Sundays. We can actually put them to use. So uh, that's one of the things that I would want. Uh, those of you who think that you, uh, you can participate in this, I would want you to give your names to uh, Swapnil or uh, even Sayalata, and then we will collect the information. We will form a network, and we will take uh, the leadership of Dr. Takshmi, and then we will make it available for the whole city. And if it works, you know, Mumbai is a great city. We should, uh, we should form the example of the whole country. Okay, so thank you very much. Anybody else? Any other feedback? Uh, Dr. Prajit from Jagat College of Are you uh, asked us the question that whether the kind of the way we went on with this uh, module, the workshop, the method was appropriate, was quite appropriate. Only thing is that we need one or two more, more volunteers to be roaming around because at that time side now, people getting stuck at some point and you know they were lost. Just to bring them to the mainframe again, I think so some more people uh, should be there in order to supervise. The idea of spreading this knowledge towards from college to school is a fantastic idea. And uh, we as Jai College do offer uh, ourselves to your service in case if we are definitely we will be there for you. Whatever services they were, we are there. Thank you so much. The GK trend that you had shown that about the resonates, but I think over those are static, GK static structures, uh, that you were showing. Yes. So instead of that, okay. because we always have a problem in making the students understand that how exactly the resonance occurs. And they are unable to understand they play Chinese checkers, you know, they, they, yeah. they, they jump at the show. They are unable to understand how exactly the yeah, beautiful animations can be made using JMOL.
The links are given on the folder, but you cannot click and open the links. We will mail you the links also, so that you can one touch you go to that particular uh, web page. And uh, also, I would want this college to meet me. Vajay uh, College, uh, KC College, Jahin, and uh, Puyo College. The people who are representing these colleges. Uh, we will be talking for a while, so once the session is over, uh, I will be fine with all. Do you have modules for the faculty of other departments also? Maths, bio, physics. I mean, if we have to spread the word around that they could also benefit and facilitate, the, I mean, get the benefit of this. So, is there other packages also for them? So, for maths, uh, we have something very good. Uh, for college level, we have something called Scilab. So, you can do, in fact, uh, uh, our Arium rockets, you know, uh, uh, the French Arium rockets placed many of our satellites on the, in the orbit. Whenever we had problems with other countries who refused to work with us, French were already always ready. And this organization, which is equivalent of our, is our ISRO, so it's called CNDS in France, they use Scylab extensively. In fact, all the calculations are based on Scylab. It's an amazing software. It is very good for people who want to do research in science and engineering. Science and engineering, that means not just uh, maths, physics, chemistry, all the engineering, uh, you know, everything. So, Scilab is an amazing thing. We have lots of tutorials. For physics, um, so remember, we are not actually teaching the subject. Because this is a um, it is not still clear to us whether we can teach conceptual topics through this self-learning methodology. What we are teaching is the skills. We are pretty sure that skills can be taught through this method, whatever will be the skills. Uh, for physics, uh, we don't, uh, okay, sorry, let me, uh, while talking about mathematics, I told you about Scilab. At school level, there is an amazing software called GeoGebra. In fact, uh, Malini created some tutorials, quite a few tutorials. Uh, you have the brochures, you can go through there. So that's an amazing collection of uh, uh, tutorials. Uh, for physics, uh, there is actually an amazing uh, uh, collection of experiments that's available for thousand five hundred rupees. It's a hardware. You have to buy the hardware and connect it, it even comes with uh, something like uh, a coil, uh, magnet and stuff like that, you can actually see an alternative current produced. So all you need is a PC, you take the laptop and you connect that machine to yours through USB, you can do 50 experiments. So we are actually trying to, we are in the process of coming up with uh, tutorials to explain how to use it. But that device is already available. Uh, somebody is, um, uh, somebody is, name is Dr. Rajit Kumar uh, from uh, uh, Inter University. Delhi. Okay, I forget the name. But if you just say the name of the software is XPIES. E-S-P-E-Y-E-S. So this is the name of the software, uh, sorry, this is the name of the hardware, and it is open source. So he has actually given it to somebody to manufacture and make it available. That's why it's available at a low cost. I think it's about 1,500 rupees. All the physics experiments, many useful experiments that need to be taught, done at the school level, can actually be done using this device. All you need is a simple laptop. Okay? Um, so the idea is very good. We uh, have to do many more. Uh, on our website, the information is available. You just ask your people to uh, play around with this. And um, we can, of course, continue, continue to discuss. Because there could be some great software that you may be aware of, open source software. You would want us to create tutorials. We could explore. We could explore the creation of these tutorials jointly. 
right? So they could build up. Okay, so if there is, uh, I see people are uh, ready to go home. And uh, uh, thanks for your, uh, you want to say something? I want to uh, uh, say that the uh, uh, for you for one of us. Uh, we would like to do many more things.